In this video, we're going to learn how to represent a map as a network diagram. Now, when you do this, the network diagram doesn't have to look anything like the map. What is important is that the correct vertices are joined by edges. So if we look at example two, we want to represent this map as a network diagram. You will notice that the vertices represent towns or cities. We'll start by counting the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertices. And I'm going to draw them at right. And I'm basically going to follow the shape of a circle when I draw them. I usually find that works best. Don't be too concerned about placing the vertices right. Okay, now each town starts with a letter such as A or B or C. So I'm just, rather than writing Anvil, I'm just going to put A down. I'm going to save myself some time. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and then Nigel Island is the letter N. All right, now that we've put our vertices down and we've labeled them, we're going to start joining them with edges. So let's look at Antville. What towns are Antville joined to? You'll notice that Antville is joined to Car Town directly. So we will go from A to C. And you'll also know that Antville is joined to Beville. You'll notice that I can get from Antville to Beville without passing any other town. So that means that I can draw a line. That means they're directly connected. It doesn't matter that the road kind of changed direction there. That's not what's important here. Okay, so now let's look at Beville. We already mentioned Beville is connected to Antville. And we can see that Beville is also connected to Fancy Town. So we'll go from B through to F. You might also have noticed that Beville is connected to Car Town. I'm going to do it in green just because there's already a red line there. We can see that we went from Beville to Car Town without passing through any other towns. That means it's directly connected. So we're going to go from B down to C. All right, let's now focus on Car Town. What is Car Town connected to? We already mentioned that it's connected to Antville and Beville, but we, we can also see that it's connected to Dryton and Anvil. So Car Town connects to Dryton and Anvil. All right, let's focus now on Dryton. Dryton as we mentioned, is joined to Car Town. It's also joined to Fancy Town. So let's join Dryton to Fancy Town. We can also see that Dryton can connect to End Town, Endville, sorry, without passing through any other towns or cities or passing through any other vertices. So that means they are directly connected as well. D connects to E. All right, um, now focusing on Endville, I can see that Endville can get to Fancy Town without passing through any other towns. So E is connected to F, and we already know it's connected to Car Town and Dryton. All right, and finally, uh, Fancy Town, we've already connected it to where it needs to go. It connects to Endville, Dryton and Beville. Excellent. And finally, we've got N for Nigel Island, and that stands on its own. You can see that there are no edges connecting to Nigel Island. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to web booklets that relate to this video.